Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video, where today I loaded up base number five. I haven't been on this thing in so long. And here's the thing. I don't remember what I was last doing in here. I think it was reading fan mail, wasn't it? Like sitting down doing fan mail and... Oh my gosh. And seriously, like... <laughs> I have not played in forever, and uh, it, it's mostly lack of motivation or wanting to, like, I think I've experienced burnout, and that's something I wasn't expecting to do, but it's here. I definitely, definitely have not been motivated at all to come in and record or do anything on here. So today... I'm jumping on and I was looking around at all my different little bases and stuff and I looked at this one I'm like, I have not done this in forever and last time I remember I was trying to cover this whole thing up, right? So I mean, might as well get in here and get to building, right? Because that's what I do. Um. <clears throat> When you think about like the games and stuff that you play and the, the free time that you get to yourself, right? Why would you not take that time to like do something better, to, to learn more and do those things, learn learn those things that make you smart? <laughs> Code, do not make any sense. What I'm saying is like, there's a lot of time in the day and what you need to learn how to do is how to basically hack time. It, it's time hacking. like get more stuff done with the amount of time that you have in the day. And one thing that I've noticed that my kids do is um, procrastination to the task that you're actually trying to do. And this is, this is part of my ADHD, part of their ADHD, part of anybody who has ADHD's thing. I mean, it's, it's part of who you are. And that is, um, preparation to try and get a task done. Instead of just going and getting the task done, we will work harder to find a way out of it, to find an excuse not to do it. But that's that's us, that's what we do. And here's the thing, if you find yourself fighting harder to not do the task, then maybe you should look at yourself and be like, wait a second, am I in control of my ADHD right now? Or is my is my ADHD telling me that this is an impossible task? Because it's not, I promise. Um, oh, uh, do you guys know what a 504 is? It's kind of like an I, I individual education program, IEP. It's kind of like an IEP. Uh, IEPs are special um, exceptions for people that have ADHD or people that have um, special needs. Um, when it comes to, I don't wanna say mental illness, I wanna say neuroatypical. There you go, that's a good way to describe it. Neuroatypical individuals tend to be ADHD, um, OCD. OCD is definitely part of that. We seem, seem to be a little quirky, a little different. A little on the outside, feeling like they're, we're, we're the oddballs out who get picked last in soccer. Even though we're really good at sports, I mean, I don't understand what happened there. <laughs> that was weird. It got all flipper flopped. All right. This is going to be so dark. Oh, no. I'm going to have to put lights down in here. Oh, dude. This was back during PAX 2020? No, this would have been 2021 20, or 22. No, this would have been 21 because the green one, it started red and then it went green and then I don't remember what last year's was. But the, the PAX green was online because we had the pandemic and, and you couldn't, couldn't go to um, a convention during the pandemic. That's pretty, that's pretty dumb to do. Like that, why would you, go into a big space with a lot of people knowing the, the coronas but that's okay they made it all required that you have to have vaccinations now um yeah i told you guys about that back whenever i took my family out to boston to go do the pax thing and 
We had already bought our tickets, we would gotten our hotel rooms, and that's when I read the fine prints about vaccines are required. Ruined! I ended up going to PAX for like one day to see if I did the, the competition. Ended up losing the uh, coin toss. I was, I was the extra, so. I missed the coin flip. The other guy got to go up on stage. And I got to go visit some more booths before returning to my family for the rest of our vacation. Because it was awesome. Don't, don't think you have to go to PAX just to, to enjoy Boston. That's not true at all. I don't, I don't know who told you that. You can, you can enjoy Boston without PAX. Just saying. Uh, was that it? Was that all the wood? <gasps> what was I using? Was this, uh, is this palm wood? Can somebody go back to my old videos where I used to play on this base and just let me know? Is this a mod wood? Oh my god. Oh god. I don't even think you can make these anymore. Well, there, there might be some exploiters or something that could exploit them away if they needed to. Are these just not falling in or... Did you not get detected? Hold on. Why did you not detect? Oh, you're too short. Oh dear. Okay. Well, maybe we need to... Oh, there it goes! Yay! Is it gonna make it? Is it gonna make it? It didn't make it! Hmm. Made it that time. Okay. Oh, wait! No, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I was trying to remember if we'd, uh... What I was going to do over here. Was I going to continue building off the stuff? The door bridges still work. I'm so happy that door bridges still work. Like I haven't played with a door bridge in a while. If you guys don't know what door bridges are inside Lumber Tycoon 2, it's it's a thing. It's a it's a bug kind of thing. Um, what makes it work is the way that the handles work on the doors whenever they're created. It basically like molds parts together, and that part of the function says, hey, I'm going to weld here, and it's like, oh, there's already a door here, so I'm just going to weld to that as well. I mean, in layman's terms, that's what it's done. I don't want to sit here and try and explain the programming behind it. I mean, I could. could try and explain. I mean, that's what my channel used to be. I used to be, like, a lot of programming and stuff like that. But, um... The books, the books are doing well. You guys are, uh, if you guys are asking about that, I don't know if anybody's asking about that. The Discord as well, it's just quiet. I don't know, I th here's the thing. I know that every year that I've been doing YouTube, January, February, March, and April are just kind of like throwaway months. It, it's weird. Those four months, it's like nothing's happening. Nothing's going on. Nobody's getting views. Um, I don't know if anybody strives. I guess tax, tax, uh, tax questions, tax video channels and stuff would, would probably be good. That's what they'd have there. Oh, here, this is where the, the bridge leads. If you didn't know it's uh it's got steps and stairs and all kinds of good stuff and i think i got more steps down here yeah so you can just walk up the end oh is somebody driving across i heard a heard a car maybe not <sighs> that is such a cool view hold on <sighs> oh that's so pretty like, I, I like the way that looks. Hold on, print screen. But why did that happen? Oh, it's the new Windows 11 print screen. Okay, that's fine. That'll work. That'll be my, uh, my thumbnail. Huh. Here's the thing. I don't want to sound... I don't want it to sound like I'm depressed or something like that. I, I want you guys to know, like, they... The time that I'm spending offline, not recording this stuff, I am spending with my family and my kids and hanging out with my brother-in-law and my other brother-in-law and both my sister-in-laws and all the ne nephews and nieces. And 
it's good. It's really good. Um, we've had a um, lo- or, uh, we had a death in the family last week, and um, this is somebody that was very close to me um, from my family side, and looking at it, the the price for bereavement tickets was phenomenal. It was like seven hundred and seventy five dollars per person just for bereavement which which bereavement means like it, they're supposed to give you cheaper costs for medical emergencies military emergencies um stuff like that and i don't know for some reason they it just didn't feel right it felt forced oh wait is this a mod so i don't think this works over here i think i gotta go over there oh <gasps> I forgot that this base had him on there. Somebody on my base chopping stuff? Should I hear it? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Uh, I forgot Charlie was here. Oh, the hatchet! Oh, that was a long time ago. Well, not, not a long time ago, but like... It's pretty long ago. The golden toilets of awesomeness. And all these presents. Man, I don't even remember which ones these were. Didn't even open them all. Memories. So many memories. Oh, the wheels! Oh, dude, that's awesome. But the conveyor belts are gone. So I guess that's pointless. Uh, can you still attach these things, right? Like, you can attach them to something. Or does not does it not work? It probably doesn't work. Here's the thing, that part right there, there's something, there's got to be something special about it because it's also the part that attaches down here on the wheels, right? <laughs> Hold on, that part's not yellow. Hold on, there, there's a way to like do the thing. Hold on, I can't. Anyhow, the, the this piece, the yellow piece, it's on the inside of that. Do you guys have little brothers, little sisters? And if so, are they annoying? And, and I want honest opinions. And here's the thing. If you are the little brother or little sister, are you annoying to your older sibling on purpose? Is it because that you look up to them? Is it because they're not paying enough attention to you? Um, and older brothers and sisters, when when you get annoyed, how do you react to the little brother or sister? Like, is, is it, do you get angry at them because they're pestering you? Do you, do you take the time to acknowledge them and say, hey, what's going on with your day? What's, what's up? Because I'm kind of lost on what <laughs> the heck hope and oliver are doing but they are just mean sometimes like just straight mean and it's not one or the other it's both to each other just oh my gosh like i, I wouldn't talk to some of my enemies the way that you just talked to, to them that's that's a horrible way to speak to somebody i, I don't care that they broke your hairbrush or there, uh, there's no. <laughs> uh, you have one kid, you become a parent. You have two kids, you become a referee. And yeah, I won't go go too much detail. Just uh. maybe I should just walk and wander. That sounds fun. I think I'll do that. Here, hold on. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and drop those two axes. Let's grab an axe just in case. Don't want the amber axe, don't wanna lose that. I should have uh, an end times axe in here somewhere, right? Oh gosh, wait, no, these are all presents. All right, hit B. There we go, that's, that's where my axes are. Let's move that top one there. That's an end times axe right there. 
Hit B, jump off, grab that. We'll take this with us. Is this my truck? I don't think this is my truck, is it? Yeah, my truck. There we go. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. This is rain over everybody. Man, that is a that is a tall building. That is look how tall that is. And that's that was just so we could do this. Uh oh. Exploiters. When is Roblox going to implement this uh, client side ex anti exploiting thing? You know, that's what I'm ready for. I'm ready to see that. I saw a couple of screenshots of it, but. <clears throat> We've been recording for like 16 minutes. And again, I'm really not doing a whole heck of a lot here. Let's load in base one. Haven't done this in a long time. Jimmy. What's up, Jimmy? Where does that go? Oh, is that guy making a sky base? Oh, I love your sky base, dude. It's actually looking pretty good, dude. Wow. Oh, uh, I guess he doesn't want to talk. That's, that's fine. We don't. We don't have to speak. Select. Go. Let me load in my awesome base of power. Oh my gosh, all of them are going down. Do you see that? It's all of the, the base, the, the bridges. As soon as they had uh, rendered in, they're like... I kind of wish the, uh, the the signs were working over in the, uh, what is it, Oaklands? Oaklands. Man, I haven't even remembered the name. Code, why have you been away so long? Well, because I didn't want to play, I'm sorry. I just kind of wanted to hang out with all my friends and family and do my own thing. By the way, I am enjoying the heck out of Watch Dogs 2. Now, I know that I'm a family-friendly channel and that I can't play it on here because of all the cursing and cussing and everything else, but if you've ever wanted to be a hacker and live the life of a hacker and your, uh, your parents allow you to get the game, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Now, parents, be aware, there is, oh, there is a lot. In fact, it's it's pretty much, it's everything. It's gore, it's blood. Uh, it's not as bad as you'd think, but I mean, there's cursing and cussing and drinking and drugs and girls and boys and it's just bad. It's horrible. Don't, don't, I, I'm kidding. It's like if you're, if you're not a family friendly channel, enjoy it. It's an awesome game. And it's got this online um, where you like invade other people and hack their data. And they've got to try and figure out who you are, where you're at. It's really cool. I'm just saying. I like the concept. It's fun. It's very Hollywood, but at the same time. What is this done? Is, is, that, a, is that a ball? That is a ball, right? Was I standing on that? That was awesome. Is this a bowling ball? Yeah, that's a bowling ball, isn't it? Bowling ball, loose item. Foul bowling with, not for use for anything else. For bowling with, not for use for anything else. Oh, I almost hit destroy. No, we are not hitting destroy. Okay, if I drop this thing, Will it go down by itself? I guess we could make like a little ramp for it. Like a little thing to go around. How would we go around corners if we were, uh, if we were gonna build a ramp for it though? That's awesome. 
That's awesome. You know a place I haven't been to in a long time, and I think I, I feel like I need to visit it and go pay tribute. And that is the swamp, because I have not been over there, and that is the first video that me and Blobby went and ever did on Roblox. So I just feel like I need to give it shout outs. I love the music in here. I, I completely forgot about the music. Why why do I not have my music up? Okay, maybe that's why. Alright, here we go. I am so happy that we can hold a click and, and it choppy chops. Uh, uh. You guys remember me sitting here like... I feel better. Like now that I'm sitting down and actually recording, I do feel better. Um, no, this doesn't, this doesn't feel like something I want to keep doing every single day, every single time, all the time. But it does feel like something I need to come in here and do it. Maybe once a Wednesday, once a week, maybe once a month. Oh no, not once a month. Yeah, that's fine. Do you guys like the other content that I'm doing? Like, I mean, I'm playing in the backyard all the time and I've got fish and snails and plants and bugs. I could do some little shorts for you. I like doing shorts. Kind of reminds me of Vine. Kind of reminds me of TikTok. Maybe if I put a little bit more effort into them. Maybe do, do some editing for once. No, code doesn't want to edit. I'm sad that I didn't get to go to the funeral. I mean, I, I really, I want to say that out loud. I'm sad that I didn't get to go, but at the same time, um, I've got a lot, like we've got a lot of stuff going on and I'm gonna be up there soon but it's for a different reason it's for my dad so man I just, like there's not really too much I can talk about that's weird I've been programming the heck out of some websites at uh, at work like I've, I've been doing some cool some cool database programming and some SQL cold fusion awesomeness. Also, I, I just uh, I, I kind of implemented a um, phone system uh, on our intranet page today. Kind well, kind of sort of. I mean, here's the thing. Um, your browser is set up to recognize when a, an address is supposed to be a telephone number. So like if you type, yeah, up, up in your address bar, like even right now, I mean on this YouTube channel, up at the top, it says something like HTTPS colon four slash forward slash www.youtube.com or it might say U T dot U dot forward slash, or, like it has an address, right? Anytime you use an address, T-E-L colon, it means telephone. And your browser or your phone should recognize that and pick it up to, to dial, right? Well, we have these things called soft phones on our work computers, right? So um, anytime there's a link for telephone, it picks it up and becomes the default application and does the dial. So I was able to use that and utilize my... Um, my default programs as part of the awesome. Anyhow, I thought it was cool. Other programmers probably look at me like, "Oh, that's so easy. Like that's that's basics." I know, but it wasn't how it, it wasn't the fact that it was the telephone. It was the fact that I had JavaScript making it happen. jQuery, SQL, Cold Fusion all kind of combined together to make one awesome page. So, no, it's not the same. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, oh, here's something else that I had an idea for, and something that I'm not sure if you would be interested in. Um, before my channel became a Roblox channel, I was doing a lot of automations in AutoIt. Now, since then, I have become an RPA developer with UiPath, which is a different automation program. Now, I've noticed that the community edition is free, and I could teach you guys some tutorials on how to use UiPath to create bots that are not supposed to be able to do what the bots do that I make. Does that make sense? There's some things you're not supposed to be able to do with a bot, and I can do it. Yeah, automations are awesome. That's that's all. It's 26 minutes after the hour. I'm 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 gonna get out of here before I get myself in trouble. Let me let me know in the comments. Seriously, like it's been a long, it's been a while since I've been back, and I'm enjoying summer. I'm enjoying playing out in the backyard. I'm enjoying life. And I want you guys to, all right? I know that a lot of you rely on my videos as a comfort zone, as um, something to just put on the background, something that you know there's not gonna be a whole bunch of jumping around, cursing and cussing, and, and enjoyable music from uh, the lovely Kevin Mac, uh, McLeod, Kevin MacLeod, McLeod. Anyhow, um, that's it. That's all I wanted to say is um, don't be lonely. Don't don't be sad. Okay, life is full of enjoyment. And um, to the person that just turned 15, I'm sorry that you had a bad birthday. And I know what it's like to have a sucky birthday. So um, don't worry. In half a year, if you're sorry, if you're in the United States, this is based on, on assumptions. So my response is based on assumptions. Uh, assuming that you're in the United States here in about half a year, you're going to be able to go up and get your driver's permit, which also means that your school is going to be available for um, doing uh, students driver driver's ed driver's ed. So do that. And the friends that you've got at school right now, some of them are going to become lifelong friends. Others, you're probably just going to drop and you'll remember each other. You'll see each other on Facebook and stuff like that. But for the most part, you don't hang out anymore. Um, some of my best childhood friends, like I haven't even talked to in 20 years. And it just kind of happens. With me, I've never been really one to keep up with old friends. It's never been my thing. So when Facebook came around and, and started allowing us to stay connected, I was like, this is some awesome technology. I should probably thank the wizards of the internet for all this coolness. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyhow, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Even though I didn't do anything in the video, like I just kind of hung out for a little bit, I'm trying to get the feel back and trying to get an idea of like what I should do to record because kind of out of ideas kind of want to play lumber kind of don't want to play lumber kind of want to play some Oaklands kind of don't want to play some Oaklands you know what I really want to do in fact I'm going to go do it right now uh, I want to go work out um, I'm going to take a shower and then I'm going to lay down and I'm going to play some watchdogs that's what I'm going to do so that's going to be the rest of my night um, kids are already down so, yeah, I got a couple hours before uh, for sleepy time. Actually, no, I got I got like 30 minutes. So that's, that's a little bit. Of, it's pressed. It's pressed time, you know, and that's ti that's time hacking is trying to figure out those extra minutes that I could squeeze out an extra mission on Watch Dogs or any other game for that matter. Love you guys very much. Have a great night and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro.